Creating duotones in Photoshop is really easy and it's a lot of fun. All you have to do is just open up a photo, just like this. It could be a color photo, black and white, whatever. Just go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you gotta do uh, when you have the photo in Photoshop is we must convert it to grayscale, okay? So come up here to image and go over here to mode and then just come over here and select grayscale. And then when it prompts you to discard color information, just go ahead and click OK. OK, so we must do that part in order to add a duotone to our image, OK? All right, now the next step, just come right back up here to image, come down here to mode, and then come over here to duotone. There we go. All right, here are the duotone options. And one of the coolest things about the duotone options in Photoshop is that, you know, we can actually do, uh, you know, we can actually just do a separate single monotone. We can do a traditional duotone, and then we can do a tritone, and also a quadratone. It's all right here in this list. For this tutorial, I'm going to go into like duotone. All right, now the first step, right here where it says ink one, is you go ahead and select the shade of color you want for the ink one area. You, all you have to do is just click on this color box here, and you can go ahead and select the color you want. And as you select the color, you can actually see the, the background here change as you do that. So you can kind of get a preview, you know, of what you're doing. I come down here and select green. It's going to be green. So, so that's pretty cool. So select the color you want for the first ink spot on the, du on the duotone there. I want to go ahead and go back to my uh, original uh, shade of brown there because I think that really looks cool. I want to go ahead and click OK. Now, the next spot down here where it says ink 2, we will se select the secondary color for the duotone. Go ahead and click on the white box here. And you have the custom colors that come up. We'll have our Pantone colors. And all you have to do is just select one of the Pantone colors. I'm going to go ahead and select, uh, I can select this nice blue here. Uh, that looks pretty good right there. So it's just all about experimentation to really get the best out of the image. But uh, that looks pretty cool right there. When I like it, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So I have uh, more of a browner shade and also this uh, Pantone blue color right here. Now let's look at the image. Looking pretty cool. But one of the coolest things about the duotone options in Photoshop is that we can actually control the curves of the actual uh, colors. And to do this, all we have to do is just click on, you see this, uh, you know, they got a diagonal line here going in this box. Just click on that, and this will bring up the duotone curve dialog box. And we all we have to do is just grab, uh, you know, grab the mouse and then come in here and adjust these curves. And you will actually see the image change. And it really makes some cool effects doing this, doing uh, you know different curves and things in Photoshop look at that isn't that beautiful you can really make some hot looking images like that check it out that's pretty awesome I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and move this out of the way and look at that isn't that cool I can actually come in here on ink 2 and click on that box right there and bring up the do tone curve for my blue Pantone color and go ahead and adjust that as well and look at that you can make, really make some cool effects with that okay this is a very popular, uh, you know, trendy technique that a lot of photographers use. Um, you see it all the time in a lot of books, magazines. And so you know how to do it right here. You've seen it right here on the video. This is exactly how you do it. So it's actually pretty easy. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's totally flexible. You can go ahead if you want to get really advanced. You can come in here and enter in your own custom values if you want. You know, it's really all up to you. But I just love it. I love coming in here and playing around with these because I can really get some nice effects going, uh, you know, depending on the colors that you choose and whatnot. But uh, that's really cool. Look at look at how, how that's coming along there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and then click OK once more. And there you go. Let's go ahead and switch over to another image real quick. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this. And then I'm going to go up here to File, Open Recent. And I'm going to select this uh, this woman right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go up here to image, again, mode, and convert this to grayscale. And go ahead and click OK. Come back up to image, go down to mode, and then come over here to do a tone. There we go. So we're back in the do tone. You can see that I've applied, uh, well, the do tone options will still keep the last options that you left off uh, that you set uh, on the last image. So so everything will you know remain the same in the do tone options until you change them. Uh, but I can just come in here and adjust this curves a little bit and really, you know, play around with this to really create some interesting uh, effects that people just look at that and go, how did you get that, like, look, you know? And it is just so awesome. Uh, go ahead and click OK. And just look at that, how unique that looks. And that's just so fun. I can come in here and select other colors, 
you know, that I want to choose. And mostly the darker colors, uh, I found that when you go with a lighter color for ink one, and then ink two, if you go with a darker color, you'll get more of a better, uh, you know, balance between the brightness and contrast to the image. So uh, that's just one thing I've noticed. But, you know, all in all, it's just, it's all about effect. And uh, that looks pretty cool right there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK right here. And there you go. So this is, you know, this is before and this is after using the Duotone. That's really cool. You can put that on your website or whatever. And and so, so have fun using the Duotones in Photoshop. We'll see you later.